la terre avec la gare Puis armons le monde avec nos armes Marchons sur les cadavres de nos idéaux Et entrepons pour nos sales tâtes The protests outside were great because it focused attention on, on the real people. I don't think a lot of the delegates inside have thought about the people that are involved in the words that they're throwing around. And to see people with an alternative point of view and to see messages that weren't the messages they were hearing on the inside was really positive and powerful. One of the most disappointing things at this event or this conference, this meeting, is hearing the, the stupidity and the ignorance of some of these people that are speaking for the civilians in their countries. They don't know what they're talking about. The event that reunites us these two days as well as next week is of double historic significance to all of those involved in the fight against illicit drugs. In particular, the group is deeply concerned about the continuous increase in the consumption of illicit drugs and the deviation for illicit uses of psychotropic substances. We must renew our political commitment to the global fight against drugs. In this historical gathering, let us all remember that if we do not respond jointly and consistently to the drug problem, the drug problem will end up knocking at everybody's door. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam, for your statement. Uh, the next speaker on my list is... The diplomats have, uh, are out of touch. They have no contact with, um, with people who use drugs, with people in recovery and their families. Um, they are more interested in, in putting forward their country statement, um, which often has no um, bearing on reality where people are, are, are ill and need support. We are searching for government delegates to ask them what do they think about the meeting. Can I have a few questions to you? No, 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 no. no, no Can I have a question? A few questions to oh, you? No, uh, I have no time, excuse me. Okay. I'm not sure whether I have time. Thank you, but the only one is Ambassador who is allowed to give okay. any kind of declaration. Thank you and good luck. Sir, excuse me. Hello? Uh, may I have a few questions to you? How do you consider the past 10 years of the, of the global drug uh, well, control I system? I should say that uh, it has uh, some uh, very good plus points. It mm. has, may not be 100% uh, achievement, but at least uh, 60% uh, as human. We are in the good track? Of definitely, yes. We are in the good track. <coughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice conference. <coughs> the fact that harm reduction is missing from, the, from this conference is very, it's very frustrating because uh, it's the main progress made these last 10 years. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Do people know about this conference in Cyprus? Uh, no, not especially. Media writes about it? Uh, we read about it. I'm from the anti drugs Council, mm -hmm. but not in the general public doesn't know about it. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. I think over time the change in the administration in the US and the change in direction is going to make a big difference for UN policies. I think, unfortunately, that the timing of this meeting was wrong. If it had been in a year, or oh, even six or eight months, it would have had a different result than what we have now. The U.S. delegation has been friendly to U.S. NGOs. Uh, this is quite a change from the past eight years. When the um, review of the UNGAS process, the UNGAS 98 process, began to be discussed back in 2006, 2005, 2006. The EU decided that it wanted a proper evaluation before uh, we would accept a new uh, declaration um, in 2008, 2009. Insofar as the evidence and the data suggest, um, 
things have changed, but things haven't really improved very much since 1998. Is there any evidence that policy can make a difference? And here we concluded that there's very little to suggest that tougher enforcement can make drug use go, can reduce drug use. And the way that's supposed to happen is primarily that you make drugs more expensive and less available, and there's simply no evidence, uh, indeed quite to the contrary, drug prices in the West have generally been declining, and declining quite sharply. Prevention is a fine idea, and someday, no doubt, we will work out how to do it, but that's some time off. It's clear that many programs that are being implemented in schools are, you know, are fundamentally flawed and they're badly implemented, and so prevention doesn't seem to play a major role uh, in drugs at the moment. The one program area where there's sort of evidence that it makes a difference is treatment. Um, but it's important to notice what treatment does. Treatment can reduce the amount the drug users use. It doesn't cut down on the number of drug users. The only way to seriously affect uh, the supply and demand for drugs is to raise the conditions that people are living in, to give people, uh, to, to remove poverty, to empower people in society, to give people a purpose in their lives. Those are all things that will help people um, find a different relationship with drug taking. We also have to ask, is it really an objective to stop human beings taking mind-altering substances? Just down the corridor, we have a special room set aside for delegates that allows them to smoke cigarettes in a, in a room that protects the rest of the conference from the harms associated with smoking. So already this conference is recognising the need for harm reduction in its own behaviour. What we need to work towards is helping them understand that we should all be applying those policies all around the world. So yeah, we need to move forward. The, the, the goals, the targets, the aspirations from the old political declaration have been repeated. Um, and there had been months of negotiation saying, we need to be more honest. We haven't met these targets. And in fact, we've ignored the fact that drug use um, and drug harm is increasing in developing countries. So you can't talk about containment. You can't say we've been successful. Um, and so to repeat those targets and those aspirations um, is foolish. Any government and any authority likes to claim success for its policies and it is difficult, I know from my experience, to openly acknowledge failure. Uh, failure. Your political enemies will always make uh, capital out of it. But this was such a clear situation that, um, uh, that the 10-year objectives had not been met. Any statesmanlike organisation would be expected to acknowledge this clearly and review the range of strategies available to respond. Uh, what the CND did primarily is try to pretend there was some success when there was none to, none to report and tried to say that if we carry on doing the same things then further success is around the corner. This is not responsible policy making in my view. The final declaration is um, like the Emperor's new clothes, it's uh, an illusion. Uh, we say uh, within 10 years we will eradicate drug taking. No, we, we are really on the way to sorting out the drug problems. In reality the drug problems get worse, they affect more people, they do more harm. Maybe the vision should be more along the lines of peace. You know, we couched what we've done for drugs in terms of a war, a war against you know, criminals, a war against plants, a war against people, a war against you know, people who use drugs. Maybe we should think in terms of the peace vision. Mm -hmm.